Christians, the Trinity is false doctrine. He that has seen me has seen the Father. Why do you ask, show me the Father? See, Jason, Jesus is claiming to be God. Really? Let's test that. Question, did Yeshua say this because he was God? Or did he say this because he was the image of God? He, Yeshua, was the image of the invisible God. So yes, he was the image of God. Question, what is the image of God? In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them who believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. Question, was Yeshua's face the image of God, or was his gospel, the law, the image of God? It was the gospel, or law, who was the reflection of who God is, not the person's face. The law is God's personality, what he loves and what he hates, his image. How did the Messiah, Yeshua, become the image of God? Though he were a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he became an author of eternal salvation unto all of them that obey him. Obedience is the key. This is why Yeshua said, Be perfect like your heavenly Father is perfect. The law is the way to perfection, the image of God. Exercise yourself to godliness, but refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise yourself rather unto godliness. For bodily exercises profits little, but godliness is profitable unto all things. Having a promise unto life that now is, and of that which is to come. But the path of the just is a shining light that shines more and more unto the perfect day. Can you see that the law is the way to perfection, the way to becoming the image of God? Exercise yourself in it every day so that your light can shine brighter and brighter every day, just like the Messiah did. Question, how did the Messiah live? He kept God's law perfectly as God instructed us to do. Question, who is our perfect example to follow? He that says he abides in him or to walk like he walked. Question, can we as mere men also become the image of God? Oh yes, godliness. But even on this day, as Moses is read, the veil is upon their hearts, heart of stone. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to God, the veil shall be taken away. But we all, as with an open face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of God, are changed into the same image of glory. The law is God's image or personality, not just a bunch of rules. Or are you still wearing your veil when Moses is read? Question, does scripture say we are also to become the image of God? Beloved, we are all sons of God, but it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know when he shall appear, we shall be just like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that has this hope in him will purify himself just as he is pure. So do not fear to make yourself equal with God's image. We are instructed to, who, being in the form of God, the nature of God, thought it no robbery to be equal with God. So strive to be equal with him. Just like Yeshua said, be perfect like your heavenly father is perfect. But Jason, no one can keep the law or image of God perfectly. Yes, I agree, but we can strive to as we were commanded to. It's a marathon. The law is the way to perfection. Become perfect. But if you stumble or fail, you have a mediator that fights your case for you, an advocate. My little children, these things I write to you, that you do not sin. But if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Yeshua the Messiah, the righteous. Question, is cleanliness next to godliness? Therefore, having this promise, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. The fear of God is the law or the image. Christians, are you walking after the image of God as the perfect example the Messiah showed us? Or are you walking after the image of the Antichrist, the lawless one, Ramesh 